Hey everyone, uh, I know I haven't posted a Warhammer video in a while, but I went to go play skirmish mode and practice. I do practice every day, like a half hour or so. Uh, I don't want to, my skills getting, I don't wanna, I don't want to get beat by the new guys. So I do practice a uh, half hour every day, and uh, against bots. And uh, I went to go practice, and it said mod. Uh, manager update and I was like ooh mod update so I went to go uh, I went on the website mod manager or mod DB uh, that website and four four or five major mods got an update so the first one I want to say is advanced campaign mod got an update now I remember when this mod first came out uh, like two years ago uh, it's my most popular video, and I said it was pretty bad. And I still stand by that. That original mod was pretty bad. And now, after like two years, uh, this mod is almost, I want to say, unification level. Uh, because, I mean, they updated the models, and I think they even added new voice lines. I only been playing it for like 10 minutes or so. And uh, this is the same mod that lets uh, Space Marine make Scarsman. And it is advanced campaign mod, which means uh, I believe it has the original story mode. So it doesn't have the Soulstorm story mode. It has the original, uh, I forget the name of the original planet. Um, is it Tartarus? I want to say it's Tartarus, but I might, I might be wrong on that. I haven't played the original story mode in a while. But yeah, uh, pretty much every model got an update. So let me go... Uh, so you got the Arbides. Arbides are in the mod. This mod only took me like 3 minutes to download. It was only like uh, 2 gigabytes or so. Which is not bad, I think. I can't show you some of these because some of these uh, uh, I can't show you the girls the girls show a little bit too much uh, chest so I can't show you that uh, but yeah pretty much every unit that I has a got an update uh, well these ones look the same we got uh, got the renegade which looks amazing. This uh, emblem here looks really detailed. I haven't looked at every single thing. Let's see, what's the defiler look like? The eh, defiler looks pretty much the same. But if I go to orcs, um, you'll see here that pretty major changes here, which I enjoy. So, let's see. See, there there you go. I believe this mod is only like two or three years old. So for a recent mod to have this many changes is pretty something. And some of these units straight up don't have names. Like this unit here, which looks like a hard boy. Uh, some of these units just straight up don't have names so it's not a perfect mod and I think some of these uh, I think some of these units straight up don't have animations or straight up don't have names which isn't a big deal because uh, ultimate apocalypse which was like the biggest mod ever even ultimate apocalypse some of the units didn't have names so it's not the worst thing ever um, if I go to Space Marines, let's see. I haven't played this game in a while. There's this huge uh, Steam sale and Hearthstone sale, so I've been messing around with that. Uh, I didn't get any like AAA game, but I they're selling all. They're selling every uh, what's it called Splinter Cell. They're selling every Splinter Cell game for like two dollars, so I got that. 
Uh, I don't have room to download it, but I got, I got like every Splinter Cell game now. Um, let's see, what's the what was I doing? Oh yeah, so the Force Commander um, is completely different, which I don't know how I feel because the Force Commander is completely different, which I don't know how I feel about that because he is the main character, right? It's his story. Man, that looks great. That looks absolutely fantastic. Yeah, pretty much everyone in the game has like a storm bolter now. Let's see if I can find a, like a storm bolter. Oh, he doesn't have a storm bolter. Um, let's see. Oh, she did have a storm bolter when I played her. Well, anyways, as you can see here, major changes, uh, new units, new upgrades. A lot of them don't have names, and this is, uh, like I said, one of like the four or five mods. So, um, so it looks like Beast Man mod uh, made a teaser. Uh, it says it's released, but I went to go download it and I couldn't find it. So, uh, so, hopefully the Beastman mod is coming out soon. And uh, Crucible got an update, but I wasn't able to download it. Um, they said the update was less than a gigabyte, and they added new units. So, but yeah, I'm I'm really excited. Uh, Crucible is adding a uh, like a sub section sub faction mechanic. Uh, kind of like the orc clan, uh, the orc clan mechanic and ultimate apocalypse. So, uh, I think they're giving each sub faction new uh, units. So that'd be really fun. So instead of playing Space Marines exactly the same every time, you get to play the sub factions, and you can do like a speed. You can do a fast s Space Marines. You can do. Uh, Tanky space marines, you know, you can do, you know, all the all those other f sub factions. Um, I think Ultimate Apocalypse has been teasing a new faction, which I th I believe is Krieg. Uh, I think they're adding Krieg to the game, so they've been teasing that. And Unification got an update, but I went to go check it out, and it was just them saying that they won the mod contest or. According to the contest, they got third place, which is pretty good. There's like 10,000 mods on that website, and they got third place, so that's pretty cool. Uh, Warhammer game. Warhammer game winning any contest is nice. Uh, so yeah, a bunch of major mods uh, got updated. Mod manager got an update, so that's pretty big. Uh, like I said, this mod here is less than uh, three gigabytes. So I don't I don't think you need the uh, RAM mod to run this. I think you really only need the RAM mod if it's bigger than uh, like five gigabytes. I think. So for half the mods, half the mods that I have, this is my list of mods. For half these mods, I don't even think you need the RAM mod. You really only need the RAM mod for like a couple of these. Um, speaking of announcements, I'll probably stop making unification content because uh, the other creators just pump out content way faster than I can. Uh, I I have a pretty busy social life and a pretty busy work life, so I can't pump out content uh, like they can, and that and I don't get paid for it like they do. Uh, I would still make content even if I wasn't paid, but they're clearly they're clearly getting paid to make that those videos, which is a big uh, you know motivator. But anyways, uh, I'll probably I still want to do uh, unification campaign. I still want to do a campaign on every mod because I think that would just be a total blast. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll do it with or without commentary because commentary does take a lot out of me. Uh, talking for hours is just not my strong suit. So, yeah, um, 
Uh, I think I don't think guard got any changes, as far as I can tell. Uh, yep, like a new commissar. He looks pretty much the same though. Yeah, guard is pretty much the same as far as I can tell. Now, I think these uh, shades are new. But, uh, yeah, as far as I can tell, no major, major changes of guard. Um, yeah, that looks pretty much the same as vanilla. But, yeah, um, a lot of mods uh, got uh, updated. So, yeah. So that's just an announcement. Um, you should go download them. Uh, Beastman couldn't find the mod, even though it said it was announced. Titanium mod, I think, got an uh, update. Titanium mod was the first mod I ever downloaded and played. So I'm very excited to see what happens there. I think Titanium mod is like a one-man or two-man team. So I'm excited that it's getting updated. Um, Advanced campaign mod, you know. Uh, so yeah, very excited for all the updates. Uh, I only played this game for like a couple minutes, and I noticed uh, lots of changes. Uh, I noticed Celestians, which was a problem unit in vanilla, they got a huge price increase, which I don't, I don't mind honestly, um, especially since. Sisters, basically their whole gimmick is good economy. Sisters and orcs are basically guaranteed to have good economy on every map. So that's basically their gimmick. So I don't mind. Uh, I don't mind the price increases. So yeah. Um, I don't know how much Soulstorm I'll be playing with the Steam sale going on. Uh, I did buy a couple RTSs. I don't think I'll record them. I bought like three or four r new RTSs. I don't think I'll record those because uh, that'll just be make my channel look junky. You know, a bunch of games everywhere. I might put it on my second channel. My second channel is pretty much dead. Uh, but I could put all the new RTS stuff on the second channel. Um, uh, the second channel is Supreme Commander 2 and stuff, which I should probably change the name of that because I found out Supreme Commander 2 is still popular, which I had no idea. Supreme Commander 2 has hundreds of players, which is pretty healthy for a like 2004 game, 2005 game around there. So, anyways, I should probably change the name of that. Maybe just RTS something. Uh, anyways, um. So yeah, a lot of new updates. Uh, you know, just try to download them. Uh, and yeah, I think that's going to be it for this one. I think I'm going to record the 100 subscriber special. Maybe upload it tomorrow. Um, some of the biggest YouTubers ever, some of them upload at like midnight. So maybe I can get away with uploading at midnight. We'll see. Uh... It is depressing when I make a high effort video and it only gets like 10 or 20 views. Uh, I'm hoping to get at least 50. If I get 50, I call that a win. Uh, so yeah, if I can... So I'll probably make the 100 subscriber special and up upload it. Uh, maybe tomorrow or something. We'll see. Still thinking about it. Um, I don't have it. I don't have this all planned out. Uh, but yeah, uh, I think that's going to end it before I ramble on. Uh, I might do gameplay because Advanced Campaign Mod gameplay feels a lot different from the other mods. So we'll see. I might do some gameplay there. Uh, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, bye.